Let me welcome all of you to the introductory class of drilling and blasting technology. Uh, basically, this course is a first level course. This course is now being offered for either to learn afresh or to refresh your knowledge whoever, whoever already passed out this subject. Uh, basically, let me share you about the overview of this course. The moment we are talking about drilling and blasting, uh, something comes into your mind. Say this two term is very, very common and all of you are very, very accustomed with this term. Drilling means all of you know that you are basically drilling something, creating a hole. Blasting means you are exploding something. Uh, and if you look into back to our history, you will find out that drilling and blasting both the technologies people were using very commonly since the middle age. Even history says that the explosive and drilling both were used in the ancient civilization also. If you look into the matter that first drilling is carried out in the field to tie the cattle by drilling a hole by uh, hitting the bamboo or a, a wooden piece into the ground soft soil by hitting it on uh, above it. So, these are the raw technology were carried out in the ancient time to create the drilling and later on it is modernized and nowadays we are carrying out very huge drillings. And still if you are looking into the matter that you will find out in our day to day life we are using this drilling often in regular basis. So, let us see how in general we are accomplishing these two practices and as these are there are two terms drilling and blasting. Let me introduce to the first uh, to introduce you to the flash first term that is the drilling. So, let us give some knowledge about drilling. Say so, this is the drilling we are carrying out for creating a hole in wall, then this is the drilling we are carrying out for taking the rock core samples, then we are these are the samples we are taking out, then we this is the very large dye drilling which is uh, carried out to uh, develop a tunnel and this is the drilling we are carrying out for creating a hole in the rock so that that can be blasted. So, basically drilling is being carried out for several purposes several uses are there. Drilling we are carrying out drilling for uh, excavating the rock by creating a space for placing the explosive. Drilling we are carrying for tapping the water. Drilling we are carrying uh, we, are, uh, we are carrying for uh, supporting the structures. So, like that way we are carrying out drilling in different way in different places. And let us see where our technology is nowadays going. Uh, if you see, we are trying to drill something, we have to select some machines, we have to carry out drilling, but the challenges are that we have to decide what should be the diameter of the drill, we have to decide what should be the length of the hole, we have to decide, we have to drive the drill hole through which what, it, it may be a soft soil, it may be a rock, it may be very hard rock it may be through a metal casing and these are the problems we have to address while we are thinking of drilling something for some special purpose. And we have to consider all these things while we are thinking of the drilling, how fast we have to drill it because these are time limit jobs. Then what is the economy? If we are spending more on the drilling? then it may not be accepted one in the other side, it may not be accepted by the client. If we are spending more, suppose we are trying to drill one oil rig and if you are spending more on drilling the oil rig, then the project may not be successful. So, people may not be interested of drilling a uh, the oil rig if the drilling cost is very high. So, all these parameters are basically creating the uh, influencing the different factors while we are deciding something. But as this is the overview, let us see how far we have achieved so far, so far how far we have achieved in terms of drilling technology. 
you can see the longest drill hole which has been drilled by the human being is Sakhalin oil bore hole which is 12.345 meter that means more than 12 kilometer long drill hole has been made for extracting the oil from the in situ. So, this has been made in the Russia uh, made by them for uh, offshore oil field and this was project was completed in 2011, but you understand that this has some good economy because the explo uh, this drilling cost was sufficiently make by, uh, made up by the uh, recovery uh, received from the oil sectors, but there are problems also where you will find that that ancient uh, uh, Soviet Union they have made a drill hole which is completed in 1989 that is also more than 12 kilometer long it is 12.262 meter and the purpose of this, this drill hole is that it is only made for the experimental basis to know the earth crust temperature variation in the earth crust for all these scientific analysis they have made this long drill hole and it was taken more than 20 years of drilling and this hole was uh, covered up in the top sealed in the top, but still it is existing in 2007. And so far if you are considering this is the deepest artificially created point on the earth. So, that means we have significantly achieved if you are considering the depth of drilling, but if you are considering the diameter of the drilling, then the tunnel boring machine which is a special type of drill machine designed for the horizontal drilling, they are creating huge excavation in the horizontal drilling. And the picture which is shown to you now, this is a picture of Orlovsky tunnel of Russia which is having a diameter of 19.25 meter. You can observe that there are three tire roadways that is uh, four lane, three lane roadways are available inside the tunnel and that is in three tire basis. So, this is the largest diameter drilling example in this world. So, that means not only in the depth, but also if you are considering the diameter of the drill hole we have achieved significantly. That means, the present day technology which are available to us can drill huge diameter holes, can drill huge length of holes and that is why it is now in our hand that we can use this drilling, drilling technology suitable for our different use. But our present topic is related to present topic is related to the drilling which is required for the excavation purpose. What is this excavation? Excavation means we need the excavating the rock for different purposes. It may be the excavation requirement for taking out some minerals from the mine. It may be the excavation requirement for trenching purpose. It may be the excavation requirement for uh, uh, taking out uh, 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 creating some underground space. So, this excavation requirements are the requirement of the civilization where we need to address the uh, uh, space for the human beings or the different purpose of human beings. So, this course is basically designed for giving you the knowledge about the drilling in which you will learn that how the drilling is being carried out, but everything is for the rock excavation purpose. So, if you look into the learning objectives that in this course, what is the objective of our learning specifically for the drilling technology. Then you will understand that this course is designed so that the students should understand what is the rock which is acting as a medium through which we are carrying out the drilling. That means, we have to carry out the drilling 
but the drilling has to be carried out in the medium. It may be if you are carrying out a drilling in the wall, then the wall is the medium. If you are carrying out a drilling in the rock, then rock is the medium. If you are carrying out the drilling in the soil, then the soil is the medium. So, in as we are pointing towards the excavation of the rock, that is why this subject is drilling and blasting. So, this drilling is basically for excavating the rock, where we are providing the space for the explosive and that is why this drilling is creating in the rock only and that is why this rock is the medium. So, first we need to understand what is rock, so that we can consider that rock as a medium depending on the characteristics of the rock, not on the type of the material, but depending on some physico mechanical properties of the rock, so that it can be considered as a generic medium. The second learning objective is that we should understand the available theories of the drilling technology. So, there are different basically drilling is the creating of hole by the interaction of a tool and the medium. This tool is nowadays the basically the mechanized cutting tool that means, the metal based cutting tool. So, this metal based cutting tool is basically acting onto the rock medium and their interactions are basically resulting into the hole. So, basically we have to understand how this rock to this uh, drill tool and the rock are interacting with each other and how we are applying the force onto the rock tool, so that the holes can be made. So, that is why this understanding of this theories of drilling technology is very very important and we are covering this this objective in this subject. Second is the uh, next is that understanding the different types of drill machines and their components. In fact, there cannot be one generic machine which can address all the needs of different types of drilling. So, drilling can be classified based on its diameter, based on its length, based, based, based on its uh, 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 purposes. So, all this based on based on what rock medium it is uh, passing through. So, there are different influencing parameters. So, one generic drill machine cannot address all the requirements. So, what is our re need? We should know for which condition which type of drill machines are required and how they can be deployed, how they can be designed. So, this objective will address that purpose, so that the student will understand what are the different types of drill machines are there, what are their components and how those components are working for creating a drill hole. The next is the understand of different drilling pattern which is essentially required for the surface excavation. So, now basically it comes that how we are placing our number of holes in the rock mass, so that we can get an easier way to excavate the rock. So, basically this is the positioning of the drill holes, this is the alignment of the drill holes you should understand the requirement of this, you should understand the designing of this in this objective. Next objective is to understand the different drilling pattern for the underground excavation. The earlier one is for the surface excavation, the next one is for the underground excavation. There is a characteristic difference between the underground and surface excavation. The main difference is that in the surface excavation, we are having two open faces, one is in the top ward direction, another is the front direction. Whereas, in the underground pur excavation purpose, only one face is available, the top portion is blocked. So, that is why the drilling pattern system requirement is entirely different from the surface to the underground. Next is that, say we are deploying drilling machine, now we know how which drilling machine has to be deployed, what will be the drill requirement, how many is the drill requirement, but we should know the performance of a drill machine. That means, if we are deploying x machine onto the y rock, 
in z condition then what performance that x drill machine will give if the condition will be different the obviously the same drill machine will give the different result in that case similarly if you are deploying a different drill machine on that y con y condition y the rock and z condition obviously that performance will be different so the student should understand that how to calculate the performance of a drill machine while you are trying to deploy that machine so that that can be finally comes into the design part of the machine next is the important one that is the economics or financial appraisal of the drilling technology we are excavating rock for addressing some economical benefit so this is our requirement we are addressing the rock for we are we are excavating the rock for addressing some purpose and that is why obviously, this should be profit making one. So, our drilling technology should not be a costly one, so that our total excavation cost became more than the return we are achieving from that excavation. So, that is why this economics or financial appraisal of the drilling technology is very, very important. Here we need to know how to calculate the different heads of the accounts like say owning cost, operating cost, uh, manpower cost, overhead cost all those cost has to be calculated to identify the financial appraisal of a drilling technology. Then the most important one which is essentially required that for a requirement of an excavation situation how we will select the most suitable drill machine so that that will address the performance that will address the financial constraint in that particular case so this is the essential requirement and i expect that while a student is able to attend this course he must estimate the easiness of a rock medium for drilling he must identify the different drill machine component so that he can address how those components are uh, creating the holes how these components are performing during its lifetime what are the requirements which components are more consumables he should able to select a drilling pattern which type of rock medium, which type of drilling pattern should be adopted in case of surface excavation, in case of underground excavation, how this drilling patterns will be selected, what will be, what will be the uh, effect if the conditions are very, very erratic, if the rock strengths are erratic throughout the drill length, how that can be handled, all those requirements uh, the selection requirements has to be addressed by the students after passing out from this course and this is important that he should estimate calculate the drilling rate so that he can schedule the drilling job he can schedule the manpower requirement he can schedule the uh, drill machines allo allocations in the different places and that is why this drilling rate estimation is very, very important. Optimization of the performance of the drill machines are very, very important and this can be done only by selecting a suitable machine for a suitable rock, uh, rock type. This can be only addressed if a student is selecting the drill machine, allowing the drill machine operate on a proper condition say like the feed Feed, feed given must be of fixed type, then the feed pressure given must be of that required type, the changing in of the feed pressure, changing of the uh, thrust given to the drill bit must be suitable as per the rock condition, all these requirements are there and that has to be addressed by the student. So, he should learn how to optimize the performance of the drill machine. Then calculate the costing of the drilling operation is very, very import important unless and until the unit operation of this drilling technology cost can be determined. 
then the overall operation operating cost cannot be determined. So, drilling costing is very very important. Selection and scheduling of drill machines is very very important also. This is this will basically optimize the overall cost and that is why this is essential requirement for the drilling and I expect that after uh, going through this drilling and blasting course, the student where they will uh, get exposed to the learning objectives, then they will get the uh, sufficient knowledge to address the learning outcomes and these are the textbooks. Uh, available most of them these books are available in the internet most of these books are available in the most of the libraries these are online uh, online available these are the textbooks addressing most of the part of the drilling technology which are being covered here and this is the this is the reference book which the student should follow thank you